I was born during the war, right? And you know, we were born in a camp, relocation camp in Colorado. And then, then after the war, you know, my father, we, you know, we were from originally from California, in fact, Gardena. Mm. So after the war, we came back, and actually we settled in San Pedro, not too far from here. We were on uh, Cabrillo. And then we lived there for a few years, and then my mother didn't like the neighborhood. Because <laughs> I got, you know, I was having trouble in school. Because mm -hmm. we're getting in fights and everything. Because you're picking on the Japanese kid, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, and, you know I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of guy who's okay, I don't back down, you know? You want to challenge me, I'll go all the way. I don't care what it takes. Went to uh, Harbor City Elementary School and went to Fleming Junior High School. That was way before Carson was Carson. Carson was basically farmland at that time. In fact, you know, I was raised in Harbor City, went to the local schools, went to Narbonne High School, ended up uh, my, I guess that was the start of my political career because I was elected to the Boys League president. I got, I actually got a scholarship to uh, Whittier College, athletic scholarship playing football and running track. It wasn't a full scholarship, it was like a half scholarship. But anyway, I got hurt playing football. So my scholarship was gone. Mm -hmm. So I transferred to Harbor College as an interim, and I spent a, a year at Harbor College. Then I went, transferred to Long Beach State, graduated from Long Beach State. And graduated, got my degree, and next thing I know, I got my draft notice. I mean, it was within two months, because I was on a student deferment. Mm -hmm. I thought, you've got to be kidding me. So anyway, I went in the service, and then I was trained as a, as a medic, mm -hmm. originally. And I went, holy crap, you know, combat medic, you know, I'm, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in Vietnam, that's you know, the first one they're shooting. So I went to uh, Fort Sam Houston, went through the medic training, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I got over to Nam. The guy's looking at my DD-214, my personnel file. He says, you have a degree in finance. Huh? I said, yeah. He said, you want to go into, you want to transfer into finance? And I looked around, I thought, is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> he said, you're kidding me, right? And he goes, no, no, no. Of course, we have to send you back to Fort Ben Harrison for training. <laughs> really? Back to the States? Oh, come on. I, I, you know, I love it here. So anyway, I went back to the States, went 12 weeks of training went back and I was a finance specialist uh, in the, you know, in the Army Finance Department. So really when you when they say, are you a Vietnam veteran? I hesitate to say yes, because I wasn't a combat veteran, you know. Mm. I was really a administrator. I worked in an admin company. I went to UCLA at night, you know. I wanted to actually, you know, get a graduate degree. But I was learning on the banking industry, and you, you know, you, the lesson is you work harder than everybody else. Mm -hmm. So I was having a difficult time quitting my job because I want to stay and continue to work so I could get noticed. And so I dropped out of UCLA. Mm -hmm. And but you know, I was going up in the banking rank, so I ended up, a, you know, vice president at, at Union Bank. So they sent me to Stanford for graduate study. Mm. We had they have an advanced banking seminar every summer for three summers. So I was going to Stanford. Oh, great school, beautiful place, mm. great gym. Uh -huh. Anyway, I went to Stanford for three years to to be a, a banking's banker's executive training. 